Um, I quit my job again. Hey, what's new? y'all so it's been a while since i turned this vlog camera on because my battery died and i realized that i left my battery charger in japan so my parents shipped it to me and i finally got it and it's here um i'm about to eat some lunch and then hopefully do some things in the afternoon we'll see Tell you what I'm eating for lunch. So, oh hi, Katsu. Hey, this is my neighbor's dog that we're watching for the day. Hi there. So I just made some ginger udon, which is just chicken broth, otsuyu, like a Japanese soup broth, and then ginger and green onions. And then this over here is leftover nikujaga, which is. Uh, meat and potatoes basically except there's only meat and carrots left. That's just leftovers very tasty from the optometrist. My eyes did get worse. What are you doing, Kona? What are you doing? You trying to snuggle? Oh, cutie. <laughs> um, so yeah, my eyes did get worse and uh, that's to be expected because it always gets worse a little bit over, over the years and my doctor just said it's just because I spend so much time on the computer. So using computer glasses is something she definitely recommends. I'm gonna do that. So yeah, you all might be wondering why that footage was there uh, from a week and a half ago. Um, I quit my job again. Hey, what's new? Uh, so I didn't really say this at all on purpose where I was working. 
um, but I was working at Netflix. So first time I've ever worked at a fang company and I was there for a year and two months-ish. And it was great. I really enjoyed my time there. I had an awesome team, an amazing manager, but I left. And uh, the reason being because I needed some time. I needed to take a break, I think. Um, I feel like I've just been kind of go, go, go for the last two-ish years. Uh, actually more than that, three and a half years. And I know that doesn't seem very long, but also tech moves very fast. And I wanted some time and space to figure out where I wanted to take my career next. Um, because in a lot of ways, I feel like I've reached a checkpoint in my career as an iOS engineer. And Netflix, they don't, they rarely promote people into management positions. And also I was doing iOS development and I realized a little bit that um, not everybody needs an app. <laughs> and I definitely like kind of burrowed myself into a niche in terms of software development, which I did on purpose and I'm glad that I did. But where I wanted to go next was a complete blank in my mind. Not to mention just like, I wanted also some time to figure out like, hey, if I wasn't gonna do software development or if I had the time and space to figure out what I wanted to do, what would it be? As always, I've been doing a lot of introspection about like, what do I want in life and where do I wanna go? For the first time, I was kind of like, you know, I, I don't know. I think my career thus far has been what I imagined to be from college and it's what I was working towards this whole time, but I'm realizing there's like a lot of a lot more other things that I want in life and things that like my current job couldn't give me. So yeah, I mean those things being things like being able to work more flexibly uh, hours wise, location wise, being able to work on different kinds of projects, building on certain skills that I wanted. All the while, I wasn't feeling super fulfilled at my job at Netflix. Um, and so in contrast, like I was feeling very fulfilled in doing YouTube work. So it was just kind of this like, it's just not working out. It's the, the, this ain't it chief kind of thing. And so I left uh, and I know that I'm in an incredibly fortunate position to be able to do so. Um, and so I did, I took advantage of that position and I did. And what I'm up to now is honestly, I've been fun employed for uh, about a week and a half now. And I'm kind of just using this time to heal. Um, as I mentioned in my get ready for 2020 with me video, I've been experiencing lots of anxiety over the last three months. And I think that this is a really good opportunity for me to keep regaining that balance and figure out what is the lifestyle that I want uh, and really think about where I want to go next. This doesn't necessarily mean that I'm like a full-time YouTuber per se. Um, I think I will keep making videos. Uh, but I just don't know whether this is what I want to do the whole time and if so like how do I want to do it? So yeah, I'm kind of just keeping my options open being open-minded Maybe I'll do YouTube. Maybe I'll do something completely different. Maybe I'll start contracting freelancing Maybe I'll just get another iOS job uh, Who knows? It's the first time that I feel like I can really make this decision for me without any of the other things that I need to worry about so I'm gonna do that. I'm 27. This is a ripe time for a quarter life crisis. Uh, so that's me now. So yeah, I've kind of just been filling my time the last like week and a half with chores and hanging out with friends and relaxing and eating good food and just chilling out honestly, which has been so good for my body. Um, it's been very, very good. So that's the scoop on why I left and where I even was. It was really great. I really liked working at Netflix and I'm so glad to have had the opportunity to do that and work with the amazing people that I did. It just, it just didn't work out. Like it was kind of like a breakup. It just wasn't working out. And uh, that's ultimately my decision and I'll take responsibility for it. But I did grow a lot as a person and I'll take those lessons with me. And I feel nothing but gratitude towards all of that. Um, for the last year and a half, so all good things onward and upwards, you know, I I think I'm hungry now and I kind of want to eat something because it's noon. So let's let's make lunch. Okay, let's let's move on from this uh, heavy topic and eat something. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well done. So 
so I kind of want to film my vlogs in both Japanese and English. So Japan, when I speak Japanese, there'll be subtitles below. But それの中の一話がえっと味噌ラーメンの美味しい作り方っていうのがあって、これは味噌ラーメンじゃないんですけど、それにちょっとインスパイアされてちょっと今日はラーメン食べようかなと思って作ってみました。結構あの昨日何食